This is like dancing on me. And I'm just like thinking, what is going on? Like, is she trying to f me? What is she doing? You know, this is like not nothing new. I have this thing where I feel like everybody wants to have sex with me, but it's something new with Duchess. Damn, y'all look like I ain't supposed to be here. That just left like a month ago without saying anything to anybody. And now she's wondering why we're all surprised to see her. Bitch, you were supposed to be my mentor. What's up? It's just a little weird that she's here right now. You're like, surprise! Bring it in, mother How are you feeling, sis? So, Duchess, how does it feel to come back in after you abandoned the crew? So, we missed you. We thought we was going to see you for a minute because he said that he was down south. Everything's been coming along well. Pretty in mother ink. Give us some news. I'm excited. You say you was going to do it, and now you're doing it. That's a big deal. Yeah. I don't want nobody to jinx it, so I ain't, I ain't talking about it. Oh, OK. I need to tattoo at Black Ink. But I have no time to be sitting here trying to get cool with mother that always stay coming for me. What's going on with Caesar? Oh, God. Yeah? There. It's a headache. Do you know when he's getting out? No. All right. What's going on with the wedding? I'm not thinking about that. OK. So, yeah, that's all. You know, I've just been doing reception. And <laughs> Teddy been doing his job. He's a manager now. You know that, right? He a manager now. He been doing his thing. I thought you would have bugged out hearing that. I love the fact that y'all like to be so judgmental of me. Let's not do that anymore, OK? What? I mean, no more judging Dutch. No more expecting this or expecting that. No more of that. Because it makes me feel very uncomfortable. What the f Dutchess, we were all good before you came back from North Carolina. Now you want to come back acting like we strangers? How many times do I have to tell you, like, we're friends, bitch? We're not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. We know you react to things differently. No, that's the old Duchess who let people get to her emotions. I stopped letting that happen. Show us different and we'll treat you different, love. I am here to be a professional tattoo artist. And I'm not going to be concerned of the opinions of my fiance's minions. Hi, what's up? How you doing? Get her a drink, stack. I invited Duchess out for drinks, because I haven't seen her since that shop and she was acting like a weirdo, so I wanted to see if she would act like a weirdo outside of the shop. What's going on? You look beautiful. I've been stressed. A lot? It's getting out of control. The guy who's doing all of my construction work hit me with a bill that over $3,000. Ooh, this bitch needed some money for her shop. That's why she's up here like this. I can see why she ain't want to talk about pretty and ink. I wouldn't want to talk about that either. Let me get my together first. The main thing I thought I was supposed to be focused on was my grand opening, and right. I can't even give that the attention it deserves. I'm just pulled all over the place, and seized with this baby mama. He still hasn't gotten out of jail yet. It's too much. Sounds stressed out. Bitch, I can't even barely eat. I'm sitting here eating a cornbread. So why don't Literally. you come down? to Miami and relax. Uh, I got my butt lift surgery coming up in a couple of weeks in Miami. I'm rounding up a couple of girls, and I figured, why not invite Duchess? She could just trust a couple of notches, and it'll make our lives way easy at the shop. Take a breather, get some fresh air, relax, and get your iPad and figure out ways to pull money. I mean, the only thing is, I feel like I just need abandoning the whole shop for a little bit, but it might be a good thing. OK, that might work. I got to see what that whole new ass going to look like. I know I came back to New York to get this money up for the shop, but because I'm dealing with so much stress and all of this frustration, I think Miami might be cool. Maybe it'll just be a moment to have an escape, I guess you can say. 
it is. To Miami. To Miami. Well, your problems that you are going to forget about while you're down there. Yes. At least for oh, a day. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look beautiful. Thank you. What's been going on? No, you bitch. No, bitch. What's been going on with you in this new ass? Why? Oh, yes. You coming in saying the right tune. I'm getting my butt lift done in a week. So tonight I am having a few of the girls over for some drinks because they're coming with me to Miami. You want a shot? The BFF Allison, my homegirl Zaz. I invited Donna to Miami because I'm getting to know her. I gained respect for you. I have respect for you now. That's why I want you within and I want to get to know you more. I respect her more for being honest about all these at the shop. Like, she's on the level to be in. A real bitch, like she's on that road. To a safe, healthy trip. Yes! Yes! Oh. Miami, baby! Oh. Damn. How big? I want to know how big. If I was to compare it to something, like, it would be a little bigger than a Victoria's Secret model type bitch. Like, I got a nice rack. I want to be just proportioned to my tits. I want you to take advantage of all that swollenness, because it will go down a little bit, and it'll look the way you want to, but initially, you're going to look Ridiculously amazing. I'm just super excited. Like, after I do the surgery, I'm thinking about just dating outside my race for a bit. <laughs> All right, so what race you gonna start with is the question. I was thinking like an Indian, like a <laughs> for Habibi. I'm Dubai, thinking, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not letting them know <laughs> on me, though. I ain't heard about that. No, I didn't. Why yes, are they you? Get on in Dubai, bitch. A bitch don't got time to be <laughs> on with this new ass. But, um, you know, if the price is right, I don't know what to say, you know? So I met up with Duchess, and she's coming down to Miami. She's coming to support. Duchess is coming. Ugh. <laughs> Let's go in the back. Duchess is shady as hell. And I heard she was saying some weird behind my back. I just want to know, like, why the f um, can't you just be, like, a real person? Like, we not friends, we don't have to be friends. But don't talk about the child that never got to be born. Yeah. Like, don't do that. That's real serious. When I had my miscarriage with Maxwell's baby, Duchess was trying to be all nice and sympathize with me because she went through the same thing. I lost the baby. I understand exactly what Donna's going through, and I mean, I definitely have sympathy for her. But then I hear that she's calling my baby a bastard, and my child is no bastard. Get it right, bitch. That she's got a lot of up going on in her head. She's not a bad person. Donna and Duchess better get their together. This trip is about me and my ass, not about their emotional asses. She's up. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm on a flight. So it's time for Miami, and I am mad excited. Like, I have been waiting for this day to come to get my butt lifted. Since I was, like, 11, I got my bestie, Allison, with me to come take care of me. Got Donna and Duchess, and Daz is coming later on in the day. Miami, we on our way. Ay, es culo. Muy grande. They're coming to take care of me. All you have to do is render your services of taking care of a bad bitch. Viva la Miami! Can we get a before twerk and an after twerk? Right on. A fun little bonding experience. We could do yoga. Y'all could do yoga. That's I, cute. I don't want to do yoga. Why not? You I, I want to get drunk. I want to yeah. get up. I want to a stranger. I want to have fun. Why not stretch your vagina? I'm coming here to do muscles. Yoga, bitch. I'm coming here to get fat. Hey, take my ass from right here and put it right <laughs> in the place. How's the shop? Oh, now you want to ignore me? I'm down here trying to enjoy myself. I don't want to be worried about that. Right now, things are kind of awkward between me and Duchess. And it's weird, because before she went to North Carolina, we were cool. She was supposed to be mentoring me. And now I found out that she's being, like, super shady behind my back. I just want to say this to you before we get in the house, but I feel like you're being two-faced. Like, for example, with the whole miscarriage thing, I just feel a way that you gave me mad sympathy um, about the baby situation. And then I hear you were telling people it's like Donna's bastard child. She 
Jesus Christ. The reason why I said it was because of the behaviors that was going on around me. You had all of them was and you ain't know who the the baby daddy was. Well, Donna's pregnant. It ain't my baby. Okay. It ain't my baby. It ain't my baby. These are the reasons why my perception was the way that it was. That's the reason for it. I feel like if you're gonna come at me like that, you gotta deal with them too, because that's why I felt that's that it. way. They arguing? It look like it. Look, look at her face. They really arguing. Like, that's mad corny, look son. Duchess and Donna's relationship is the weirdest relationship I've ever seen. Only other relationship I've seen like this is when I was sleeping with this girl. We had sex in the bathroom at this club called Spirit, and we used to have this love and hate relationship, and they have a relationship just like that. From now on, looking forward, the best thing that I would say for our relationship is to just keep straight 100. That way, we can feel how we need to feel. We can talk about that and it don't gotta be nothing else. And that's where we at right now. So now it's like either we're gonna decide to be friends or we're gonna be frenemies. So don't make frenemies when you can make friends, bitch. I'm a friend. If we're gonna be friends, we have to respect the differences between us. Duchess goes all the way left on these tangents that don't got to do with the point. And that's what she does to try to, like, divert the attention from the real problem, which is her being a shady-ass bitch. But since I made my point, I'll let it go. I'll forgive her. I won't forget it. As long as she, like, just, like, chills, we shouldn't have any problems. Is this the house? I'm home, baby! We're going to be in Miami for more than a week, so I rented this cute little bungalow. It's five of us. We split in the five ways. This is some Airbnb right here. Oh, this Nice, son. Look at my house. As soon as we walk in the house, I am ecstatic. It is everything I expected and more. Ah! This is so cute. I'm ready to barbecue. This, this house is going to be sky central. I need a place where I can turn up before surgery and then have a pure oasis after. I want the best room, so whichever one everybody else wants is mine. Yeah, I'm gonna be over there on that side. That's the biggest one. Everybody needs to be appreciative of this. Nobody had to stay here tonight. Naked, I'm just like, um, this weekend may be a Donna going wild type of weekend. Shake it! And what better people oh. to go wild with than these bitches? A second shot, I love you, bitches, so much. I love you, too, baby. So much, y'all. Love, love you. Yes. Hey, yes. Fatty. Fatty's like, y'all bitches, bitch, I gotta get, I gotta upgrade my friend fatty the way these asses is looking over here. Y'all got it. I'm gonna have to do something. I'm looking forward to having a good time with the girls. I just want them to see that I can enjoy myself with them without being so serious. So I'm gonna let loose a little bit. I was like, I'm oh, trying to That was a cute pig, though. Look. Yes, your photographer has. I think being away from Caesar is definitely gonna help Duchess. Grab this. I'm already surprised by her attitude. It's like a different Duchess. But then we buy a pool. How can you not like a bitch buy a pool? All right, let's get to know you, the real you, without Caesar around. Party, 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 party. Uh, let's turn the. So, so tonight we get ready to go party. Tell Miami, y'all. We're about to get lit, pop bottles. The crowd is pumping. It's the last, last night of me having a flat ass butt. Duchess drink. Just because when she's around Caesar, she doesn't drink that much. I think Duchess is letting loose tonight because she doesn't have to, you know, be the fiance. She's just the homegirl right now. I love drunk Duchess. I wish drunk Duchess was sober Duchess. <laughs> then I'm just like, that'd be my bitch. 
I'm really shocked that I'm actually in this club with these girls and I'm really enjoying myself. Like, I never expected us to have this much fun together. I'm laying my walls down and it feels good. No, what the I'm doing my thing, dancing with Duchess, and the next thing I know, Dez knocks a drink on Sky. I'm the only girl in the club with white pants right now with f***ing Jameson all down my left butt cheek. I want to leave. He's trying to get out of here. This guy storms out the club, and then Addison follows him. It's just so hot. I, I got to um, say, I just, too much. So Allison and Sky leave the club. Dez is, like, in her own, like, little world. And Duchess is still trying to party. Come on, make it pop. Let it drop. Make that booty work. I have make never seen Duchess this happy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm liking it. Does I lost my ring equal? I'm single, or like what? Are you just single for the night? Did you lose my on purpose? Like what's going on? I haven't been wearing my engagement ring because I feel like in our relationship, C's has been able to do, you know, pretty much whatever he want to do. Now it's time that I do the same thing for me. That's where I'm at with myself. I come first. Dutch. Everything good? Everything good. Oh. This Miami trip just made me miss her somewhat. This time away from Dutch has made me reflect on how much I miss her and love her. I don't got no complaints. I can't say nothing. Like, I'm in a good spot. And I'm thinking about moving up this wet and like that and really start thinking about a date. You said what? Honestly, if we have a future together, it don't make no sense us procrastinating. Honestly, ain't no one getting any younger. We already know what we want to do in life. Why play games, yo? Let's just get on with this chapter in our motherfucking life and build something real together. I support you, but don't make them decisions just because you like, no, at some point we're going to have to do this, so we might as well get this out the way now. C's and Dutch relationship is real weird because I see where she keeps him focused and how she motivates him and how she pushes him, but I also see how she drags him down and how she kicks him in his chest and how she throws in his face. Me, from the outside looking in, it's like 60-40. 60 bad, 40% good. I tell you the truth, Ted, with two shops in two different states, I don't think I could have done it with anybody else because, honestly, with Dutch, I really trust her and I love her. And I can't see her doing any bull If that's what C's want to do, so be it. I'll show up to the reception for the Hennessy and the and possibly one of Duchess's cousins. But I don't trust Duchess 100%. I don't get a wedding planner. How, gonna, how you gonna do this? Yeah, the fuck? I'm getting a wedding planner. Only thing I want is the Hennessy fountain. That's all I care about. <laughs> Duchess is like dancing on me, and I'm just like thinking, what is going on? Like, is she trying to f me? What is she doing? You know, this is like not nothing new. I have this thing where I feel like everybody wants to have sex with me, but it's something new with Duchess. Cheeseburger spot, though. Oh, no, not having Chinese. No, like, for real, I buy all y'all cheeseburgers. Sky cheeseburger. We gotta start by the cheeseburger spot, cab driver. Do y'all know something? We in the drive-thru. Give me an Allison one cheeseburger a piece. Bitch, I got drunk. I got drunk for your mother ass, so don't go to damn sleep. You can tell that these girls are twisted. Like, they are having a good time. Look at that Right so, okay. Let me give you some action. Oh, Duchess is a drunk lesbian. Everybody has a little inner lesbian. Just takes a little tequila to bring it out. Oh, God. I think it's safe to say I'm not the only one missing my fiance right now. I got it. 
I actually love his stupid ass, but you know, he ain't here. And Donna act like she him right now. I don't know what the f happened. This bitch, Duchess, is drunk, and she made me take shots. I'm drunk right now, and it's because of this bitch. Because she was like this. She was twerking on me like this. These bitches is acting very frisky and freaky. That Patron and Jameson have gotten into them. I can only imagine what happens tonight, and too bad I can't Snapchat that I want to grab one on his ass and, like, <laughs> I want to eat the groceries. I want to eat the groceries. <laughs> you know, Donna on tequila is a horny Donna. Like, I drink Hennessy and I go to sleep. I drink vodka and I throw up. I drink tequila and I turn into a party girl. So, Duchess, beware. If you felt my heart right now, you would be like, bitch, why is your heart beat so fast? So that in the air. Let me. <sighs> oh, God. Whoever said love don't cost a thing, lied. I couldn't begin to tell you about all of the things I lost. It's not just you, it was me too. Your love was see through, never equal to mine. Last night, I overindulged, and I definitely lost control of myself. It's raining outside. I remember when we were inside, and it was even my pride. It's so mad. Bitch, that was the best night of your life. Um, just, don't chase that rainbow if you can't handle the pot of gold at the end. I remember when we used I'm losing my mind. Somebody better slap the out of me. This kind of is the biggest mistake I've made in my life. How was Miami? <laughs> it was so good. We went to the beach, you know, we got drunk, we went out. It feels really good to be back at work for Miami. Sky can't fly for another week, so she has to stay down south a bit longer. I got to see a preview. But everybody else has to wait to see that new body. What's up with Sky? How that ass looking? That ass is nice. Like, her shape is like, it's nice. That's a fact. <laughs> I'm dying to tell somebody what happened in Miami. So that in the air, let me <sighs> Oh, God. But Duchess is so paranoid that CJ will find out. I'll keep my mouth shut. What happens in Miami stays in Miami. <laughs> Look at you, looking all fabulous. How y'all doing today? <laughs> we good. You want to know what some good sex did to me over the weekend? Let's uh -huh. talk about this. Let me take and she took the glasses off. off. <laughs> See this thing? Ooh, girl. <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> good sex did that to you? You got a black eye from sex? Yeah, I had a threesome with a ladder. Oh, I got to <laughs> stay away from you. Oh. I have a loft bed, so it's like, you know, a lifted up bed, so. Me and my boyfriend, we're doing our thing, having a good time. I swing around, I smack my face on the ladder. My bitch said, whack me. And I wake up in the morning, and, and I look in the mirror, and it's like, Can't work here. That is crazy. Since he's gave me this new position at the shop, he's very stern with me not sleeping with any of the employees. But with Sky having his new body and Mel with these Fifty Shades of Grey stories, this is going to be kind of hard for me, literally. Oh, oh look hey, who is. Uh, I'm just getting up. I'm tired of I like this outfit you got on. Oh, man. So tell me what happened in Miami. Um, uh -huh. so I got her butt done, we went out, we got drunk. I heard a little other thing happen. I heard you turn into a little Ooh. when you drunk. Wait, what? Really, Dutch? I you? Those are strong words right there. The definition of rape is taking by force, and it's not wanted. That's crazy. And here I go, was about to keep my mouth shut about the whole thing. I mean, I know Duchess don't go that way. So you was eating in Miami. Duchess. Duchess told me that she went to sleep. She felt somebody face between her legs and had to kick somebody off. It was done. This is 
just typical Duchess lying, trying to make herself look like a perfect little angel. She's trying to assassinate my character. She want to play the victim instead of just owning up to what she did. She had fun. Like, so what? Y'all want the story, I'm giving you the whole story. So you know, there's no lies in my story. I don't know how Duchess got on the bed. I don't know. But all I know is Dad's right here, it's Scott right here, Dad's right here, me right here in front of Dad's, and then Duchess is right here. No panties on from the jump, she had on a dress. Dad, as soon as Duchess is on the bed, Dad, I'm on Duchess. You start no Yes. It. A couple times. Oh, Lord Jesus. I hate you, I don't even want to tell this story. What the Why am I getting a different story than the one Dutch told me? I just know this is up. And I woke up the next morning. Mm -hmm. Dutch just comes outside like, yo, um, let me talk to you. I feel like we should keep that between us because if Caesar find out, he's going to be mad at you because he know I don't do that. So I'm like, whatever, I, I won't say nothing. Then I see that she says something anyway, but tried to turn it on me. You're so paranoid that Caesar's going to find out that you just made up this whole elaborate story and accused me of doing something illegal. We were cool, but now you just totally crossed the line. Game on, bitch. Was you talking to Duchess while we was in Miami? What you mean? Was you, like, talking to her on the phone? What you trying to say? Nothing. I just wanted to know who she was talking to for a long time. Wasn't her phone broke? Her phone was broke. OK, then, so? She had another phone, though. What the f was she talking about? I lived with Duchess and didn't know she had a second phone. At this point, like, I give no f I'm gonna let Caesar know what his dedicated fiance is really doing. And what happened with that? She was off by herself for mad long, and then she didn't come back and say, like, oh, Caesar said anything. And she was talking to somebody for like three hours. I can't even believe that this is reality right now. This place is definitely just so dramatic. And what happened to her ring, though? Her ring is on her finger. Don is throwing a lot of logs on Duchess's bonfire. What the f is she trying to do? You saying like that, you sound like you trying to start some I'm just saying stuff that, that I noticed and that it came to me. And you know, I don't know y'all on a, like, a real deep personal level. You had your her. That's kind of personal. She told me she lost her ring when we was drunk. Mm -hmm. And then she said somebody else that a frog ate it. A frog ate it? A frog jumps on my foot and it puts me in a panic. And I realize I lost it. That's quite a story. And we was in the club and single ladies came on by Beyonce. And I was like, oh, we can't dance to this. And she's like, girl, I lost my ring. Word. Oh. This is very interesting. I like to hear about that. Hey. Duchess has some impeccable timing. What's up? This has no idea what she just walked into. According to Donna, Duchess hooked up with her willingly. She's walking around without her ring, and she has a dude on the side. Glad I showed up to work today. <laughs> I'm surprised Duchess' spider sense ain't tingling off the charts. It's like she's walking right into a minefield. This is a crazy day. <laughs> yeah. Donna, you're crazy. Jeez, you're crazy. How am I crazy? You just walked in. You have nothing to do with this. Oh. <laughs> I'm safe. Right. You're good. How you safe? Yeah. Uh, what part of the conversation yeah. am I a part of? Huh? Donna said you a kill. It wasn't a kill. It was an attempt. And it was an unwanted attempt. The fact that you took advantage of me in a moment of weakness because you are a thirst trap bitch that don't know how to control yourself sexually, that's what I have a problem with. How many of y'all have ever seen me drunk? Maybe twice. Since Donna been here, have you ever seen me drunk? I seen you drunk. You seen me drunk the night you took advantage of me, yeah. Oh, that night. Now I took advantage of Donna, I was mad drunk. If Donna is all touchy-feely with me in the presence of everybody, do I ever warrant that type of You always let me touch you. Since I met Duchess, she always let me touch her butt, grab her boob, like, I sit her down on my lap. Like, I touch Duchess when I want to. She always pretends to be such a angel, like nothing ever freaky could happen with Duchess. That's a lie. And this is right here where it's about to turn into a nasty situation, because you don't, don't care. Wanna... Donna, I care. I, I, so, so I feel baby. like that's what it's you've done. Okay, no. And I, I have the right experience. to feel like that. Everybody has lived I'm experience. Grown. I'm not no It's this not a big crazy. deal. 
It's not a big deal. It In my opinion, being a lady is having some respect for your vagina, you know? Don't just pass that thing around. Or if you're going to, at least enjoy it. The next morning, I said to you, what you, me? What I you said, said? Donna, you know that that's not something that I'm into? You so said, let's, let's not, not tell C. Let's see, not ever cross that bridge. He's going bridge. mad at you, because so, so I'm not home. Like what did I do, baby? You told me Donna tried to I'm gonna lie. That's exactly what you did. You didn't tell him the truth. Because I, I just told him the truth. truth. The whole truth. What was the and truth? But the truth, baby. What was he got? So what, so what was the truth? She said she rolled y'all up and was <laughs> like it was on Thanksgiving. I told you to get off of me. And you didn't have to tell me to get off of you because I was already off you. Good. Because nobody wanted you on them. Once I found out what you <laughs> like, and <laughs> I moved on. I was taken advantage of by a thought while I was drunk. Donna took advantage of me when I didn't want it. Is over, but it's far from over, bitch. You, you wanted to get your so you got it. Duchess and I hooked up in Miami. No big deal, just fun girl stuff. But she's so paranoid about Caesar finding out that she makes up a lie saying I her. Nope. Too bad for you, Duchess. I actually have proof. Allison. Yeah. Hey, boo. Allison was actually there. She knows exactly what happened, and she can tell everybody. Let me just ask you this. Did I take advantage of Duchess? I was drunk. Was Duchess not Allison laying on the I, bed? Allison, was I drunk? Get out no, my FaceTime. No. Get out my FaceTime. Get out my FaceTime. Dude, these bitches are so fing childish. Like, are we in high school right now? Was this bitch drunk? Was I drunk? Let her answer the question. We always drink it. Exactly. Do, do I ever drink, Allison? She don't know. Anyway, it's Well, I, they know, and they attest to the fact that I don't ever drink. Did I drink? Did I, so I was drunk. Did I have any? Right now, Duchess is definitely full of She's like 10 shopping bags full of right now. You know what sees? He's sitting on that couch burning on the inside right now. But it's one of those moments like, do I shut down up or I get the information that I need? Because Duchess will never tell you the truth. Why would you want to change the channel on this news report? And how do we stop? How do we stop, me and Duchess? You got up and went in the room. It looked like she was having fun, right? No fun was there. Sorry. What I said, I said Sorry. She's exactly. Well, bitches had the opportunity to say no. I, I get. I got a million bitches numbers in my phone. I got a. That's just. You sound psycho. I can't even believe that this is reality right now. Have some respect for your vagina, dude. Like. Thank you, Allison. I'll call. I'll call you later. Thank you. The slut of Black King. Duchess is such a hypocrite. I've had sex with three people in this shop, and so have you, Duchess. I'm so tired of her turning the tables on people. Like, everybody needs to hear the truth about Duchess now. Now I'm the slut, bitch. You the Teddy cousin, and whoever else. So let's not get started. Donna, you I never It's funny how y'all used to best friends, and then the used to stay in that house. I thought Duchess was just a rumor. What the is Donna, though, that we don't? I never stay that house, and I Donna is sitting here telling lies, more lies, more lies, and more lies. It's just making me feel like, why the f is this bitch even around? So don't start with me, Duchess. You got third, too. You're coming here spreading rumors. And it's cute how you got your ring on right now, too. I thought you lost it or a frog ate it. Duchess never owns her She took her ring off in Miami, and that's, like, so disrespectful to Caesar. This bitch always trying to judge me, but my is locked up, and I still wear my ring all the time. Baby, you need to fire this bitch. This is right here where it's about to turn into a nasty situation. Don't try to bring my work and we're, we're at work. We're not don't in my Don't we're try to change work. the subject. Yeah. That's what you always do. Yo, both of y'all shut the up. Yeah, I ain't shut the, the, the up. Dutch, shut I'll, the Dutch. Up. You need to fire this bitch. Chill out. You chill, chill out. out. Don't both of y'all took it a whole different place. She's guilty. I said, no, shut, I'm not yo, guilty, yo, yo, I said, be quiet. At the end of the day, it's about money. You got a tattoo to do, and you, all this start is going to end. Y'all tripping now, yo. End this now, yo. All right. tripping. I don't know what to feel right now. All I know is somebody has made a fool out of me in my own shop.
and somebody's lying to me. What's up? I'll be honest with you, I don't know. That with Donna bothers me. Yeah. And everything that I told you was what I remember. I remember telling her to get, get off of me. Yeah. And everything is an excuse, and she don't listen. I clearly did not want her to do that. She aggressively pulled me down, and when she realized it was 30 seconds, when she realized that I was not into that, she got up like I rejected her ass. So for her to sit here and say that, that got me mad aggravated, and I don't want to deal with her. You need to get rid of her. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that situation. I'm not at Black Ink full time, but since I am here, I am going to make sure that there's no worthless pieces of in here. Now it's just awkward now. I can't fire over nothing personal. She's not making no money for the shop, though. She's just here. And she's supposed to be an apprentice here. And I got a tattoo to do, and I don't want to deal with all of that. And it ain't going to be me to go, so I suggest you fire Donna. To me, it's like you, you assassinated your own opportunity. The way I'm feeling right now, Dutch just needs to just get out of my face and let me breathe. I gotta think. I'll talk to you later about it. No, you're gonna need more than that. You yeah, just eat it, Melody. Gosh. You still ain't learning your lesson? You talking about right. just eat it? Just gosh. Eat it, Melody. Gosh. You about to go to jail. <laughs> right. Girl, you gonna go to jail for. You gonna be everyone's <laughs> favorite inmate. Right. What you waiting for? Orange is the new black, black ink edition. Orange is the new black ink. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. But anyway, it's moving on. I thought about it, though. I don't like how this is right now. I don't like the vibe in the shop. We gotta make money. So, I don't know what's going on between you and Duchess, but. Y'all motherfuckers went on the wrong path, both of y'all. Right now, what I'm gonna do with you is, you're just gonna have to get your portfolio together. You feel me? Instead of being you know, on some childish just get your portfolio. Just go work on your portfolio today. All right? It ain't like I'm kicking you out the shop. I'm just saying, you need to work on you. Usually, I feel like he probably would have, like, yelled at me and, like, told me to get out. But this was like a, I'm just asking you to leave for a couple days. So it's kind of different. I feel like our vibes are different. And as far as I'm like teaching apprenticeship, I think you be on that. You've been doing it too long. I agree. And I don't think the shop should be feeling like this. I agree. I agree totally. I didn't even. So go work on your portfolio and go holler at me when your portfolio's done. Right? I'm not co-signing Duchess Fire and Donna right now. I gotta let everything cool down before I make any type of decision. Really, I just need to find out what the hell's going on. Bye, y'all. Hope y'all be successful in all the tattoos y'all do today. It's like musical chairs up in here. I need to talk to Dutch today because this whole Miami trip got me f***ed up in the head. There's a lot of things that Donna said that's troubling me right now, from Dutch taking off her ring to her hooking up with Donna to that whole old rumor. I need clarity. I don't need to be sitting here thinking about what my fiance might or might be doing behind my fucking back. Hey, babe. What's up? I need to know right now before we go any further. I told you about something. Donna said some shit about you, and I don't know how to take that. Shit. For one thing, she said you fucked those. You know good and damn well. well that Need to be addressed. Baby, what can I do about everybody spreading a rumor? If there's a rumor going around that I Donna, you want that right then and there. What have I not done to address that? Dutch, it ain't been addressed. Dutch is so full of right now. Not once did she sit here and talk about that fight she had with Donna or any of these other mother rumors. But if she have heard something about me with Donna or Sky, she'll hook me up to a mother lie detector and went and stop to a your head blows. First off, I don't with kids like not the type of 
that I would be with. Our relationship should be way further than that. Dutch, how can I trust you with this and everybody else's version of what happened in Miami is so much different than yours? But baby, I was as honest as I can remember, baby. You told me she attempted. Baby, you said, I remember. Yo, you woke up, she between your legs, you pushed her off. And that's what and I remember. And then the story is, you standing there, they all you they pulled you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't like it after a while. You got up. That's not the story you told me. That's not the story that I know. If I blacked out and got my then got up and told the get the off of me, would you feel the same? I don't know how I would feel the same. Right. If I was getting my by a drunk and I woke up and said, get the off me, you're going to sit here and lie to me talking about, oh, I don't know. I, said, I, I don't know how I would get feel. The you went crazy over a photo shoot, yo. I can't believe the lies that's coming out this girl mouth right now. I don't know how I would react. This is for real? You went to break up with me because I put my hands on Sophie to bite during a photo shoot and nothing happened. How can you sit here and it's like, uh, uh, See, uh whatever. No, it's not no whatever. Your, your attitude it's is not just whatever, you, it's not. But I don't know what to do. Don't, I feel don't do disgusted don't about this. Do don't do that. I got drunk around people that I thought I was safe around. Plotting, I'd have never took no drink. Dutch, honestly, you're never going to fess up for your responsibility. Yo, Dutch, since I knew Dutch, she has never ever meant to any of her up. It's always been somebody else's fault. I'm tired of you use wild scapegoats first. What yo, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm around that I can't trust. That's not no scapegoat. Hold on. I thought I could get drunk. Explain it to you why I felt so comfortable. Dutch, that is a scapegoat. It ain't like they jumped you or something like that. You're talking about they got you drunk just to plot on you? Like, are you serious? I didn't you basically that. that I didn't nobody. I didn't accidentally have my in somebody. I didn't touch her. Oh, but you accidentally dropped in her mouth. You pulled me down. Man, you pulled I, right now. I don't really remember. What are you talking about? That I bitch fingers. What are you talking about? Duchess can't sit there and admit that she did anything wrong or even sit there and say sorry. Got me to the point that I'm about to black the out, yo. It's OK for you to die. It's not who OK to Walter, who Are you bugging, yo? Are you bugging to me? And then you took off your ring in Miami. How am I not going to be mad? And I have to hear from my employees that your woman don't really take you serious. Dutch is taking off her ring is so disrespectful to me because for one simple fact, I never, ever, ever, ever want to get married. I Why care, you care about how Why you, you feel. Wait, would you care about I my feelings? It's your second reaction. First your reaction. first reaction my first is to reaction. take this the f off and go to Miami and go shake your ass. Head. And then the one person I decide I want to get married to and spend the rest of my mother life with, and actually give them my heart, decides that when they go to Miami, they want to take their ring off. Tell me, how solid is our love, really? I feel up. No, Stop. You're not going to do that. The only reason why you feel right now is because I'm pissed. That's the only reason. Before, it was like, uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, uh. You want to go out with your girlfriend and do what you want? Let the your <laughs> Go ahead. Have a ball, yo. What I want to do is be in a relationship with my fiance. Dutch. Get my business together Dutch, so that we can then plan you this do that. wedding. Wedding? You want to? Oh, you want to plan a wedding now? Right. Baby, man. I'm sorry. Me taking my ring off was stupid. But that's the only way that I thought I could hurt you. Whatever, Dutch. So now that I feel hurt, you tell me what should I do to hurt you? Why do we gotta keep being tick for tack? I'm wrong for trying to be that way, cause it didn't hurt you. It hurt me. So I didn't life. accomplish nothing by it. Oh, you accomplished a lot. I didn't accomplish you anything accomplished a lot. by it. And you showed me how watered down this relationship is. See, this relationship is not watered down, but that's the only thing that I knew that would hurt you. you don't ever have to worry about hurting me. See, stop. About See, you did enough. Cause I honestly, I feel terrible. And I'm asking you to forgive me for that because I have forgave you time and time again for things too. But you have to let let the situation come to
to a close because what are we going to do? Dwell on what? Let's close it. Tell me fix what it. will fix, fix this it. for you. Nothing. See? Nothing will fix it. I think everyone's bisexual. No. No. You're playing, no. Would you let a chick Yeah. Wait, no, that ain't the right question. Have you let a chick Yeah, let a chick No. But you would. Yeah, the right circumstances, yeah. Hi, y'all! Yeah. week recouping in Miami for my surgery. I'm still healing. I'm wearing bandages up under my clothing, but I missed everybody at the shop, so it's only right that they get to see this new ass. This is the ass. Yeah, that's bubbly. It has to take shape, though. I'm happy you didn't go too crazy. You kept it, you kept it proportional to your body. I'm not gonna lie, I love the new ass. That's my, it went from pancakes to my mama biscuits, you know what I mean? I got my titties done too, you guys. What the hell? Titties! <laughs> I knew you was gonna get the ass done, but those look nice. I'm not gonna lie, they look authentic. Wanna touch? We can. I'll let you guys touch this. Yo. That's legit. I wanna touch some fake boobs. Good. Come on, Ted. Wait. <laughs> That's yeah. enough. That's enough. Just do one good thing. It's gonna feel kind of weird touching your boobs. I know. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, are you happy now? Yeah. Like, I feel more confident. I was already confident. Like, don't get me wrong. Now, like, I feel like a woman. This is hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've known Sky for a very long time, and she's never had an ass. So the fact that she got a little poke out right now is definitely a turn on. Let me fix my mother. Say my pillow. <laughs> How long you gotta have a pillow on your ass? I said at least six weeks. You gotta sit on that for six weeks? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely necessary I sit on this damn boppy because if I don't, my ass is gonna be flat as a board. Sky, I'm glad you're back. I need you to clarify a few things for us. We was trying to figure out if Duchess got and here you are. It wasn't no mouth rape. She was just trying to cover up a little bit because she didn't want you to get mad at her. Like, take you know, wrong way. take it the wrong way. The wrong way? Is there any other way to take it? Yo, that bitch is crazy, though. Donna is really a loose nut. No surprise. It turns out Donna is a cheap-ass bitch. When it came time for all the girls to pay their half of their room in Miami, Donna decided she didn't want to pay. So I'm like, guy, right, you can give me half of your room. Like, that's it. Like, she, that bitch looked at me and said, I ain't paying to take care of you. I say, yo, you serious, bitch? Yo, what the is wrong with Donna? First, she gets in it with Duchess, and now Sky. Donna must have really pulled some bull in Miami. Bitch, I don't give a about you. Speaking of. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. How's everyone doing? Everybody's good. How are you? Why y'all all weird? Sky invited me down here to see her ass now that it's not all swollen. But now I'm really starting to feel like I just walked into some sort of ambush. Hello to you. See why y'all so weird and quiet? You dirty, filthy, dumpster mouth bitch. You could have paid for half of your room? Oh, so that's what this is about. You're pissed because I'm not paying for my room in Miami. Get over it. Sky, are you serious? You stayed down there for free. To you help didn't have you to. Though. I'm trying to make it seem like I just like superimposed myself you on you. Bum ass bitch. If that makes you feel better, then I'm a bum. I waited on you hand and foot like a servant while you were recovering from surgery. One, two, three. Ugh. Oh, oh. So after I clean you, feed you, change your diaper, wipe your ass, I'm supposed to pay for my room? Out of here. I know I was the one there helping you, though. Don't say nothing, bitch. Yeah, okay. I would have hit you with my pillow, son. Like, where's the money? I said that That's to you. That's after I said, tell I'm my you hotel. Not. not at all. No, that's not at all. Damn. Not at all. I, I'll pay for this. This is after I went <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Sure no, I'm gonna pay for that. I'm gonna pay for that. You was supposed to hit Donna, not my mother. Ouch! I said I'm not paying to take 
take care of you. That's you, what that I said. And you said it with attitude, bitch. You, you said it with I think Donna does it to herself. Like, you want to give her the benefit of the doubt. She is a sweet girl, but her mouth and her actions just always causing all kind of hell. You a bum that don't like to come out your pockets? How? You asked me to pay to take care of you, Scott. How am I a bum? How? You're a bum. How? Why the f did you come? Why did you come down there? take care of you. Bitch, you did. How you got down there? Thank you, got care of you. You bum ass, bitch. You bum ass. Bitch. Let's do it. Sky. Sky. Bitch. Bust this bitch ass. Leave this. And we got my square, bitch. She got me up. I'm so upset. I'm shaking right now. No, no, no. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to her up. And y'all not letting her outside. Y'all not letting me in there. Now we have beef. We didn't have it before, now we got it. Everything has to be blown up. Ever since plastic surgery a few weeks ago, Sky's all bandaged up. Sky has a flat ass. Why would we have flat? It has to be inflated. Everything has to be inflated. <sighs> but tonight, though, but tonight, we throwing her a party because she is taking them off and revealing the ass and titties to the world. Hey! <laughs> you drinking the naughty water and a Patron? Whatever she's drinking, give us some more. Seize, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> come talk to me for a second. Me and C's, we ain't talked for two weeks, and I really do miss him. I don't know what the to do. Fighting with C's should be the last thing that we want to do with each other. I love C's with all my heart. I want to be with him. I want to spend my life with him. And the consequences of my actions, it really hurt him. I have to make this right. So what you want to talk about? The type of hurt that he feels was not the type of hurt that I was trying to cause. I can try to right my wrongs. I really do love this man. It would hurt me if I lost him. I want to apologize to you for not wearing my ring. Now all of our dumb should be out of the way, right or wrong. Duchess don't never say no sorry. I had a better chance of getting blessed by the Pope than Duchess saying sorry. Hey, listen. You got your <laughs> That has nothing to do with it. That's not what you was mad about. Nah, I was mad about your ring. But um, about the other night, you know how I am. I get carried away sometimes. Still want to get married? Yeah, I still want to get married. Right. Put me through so much, man. I put you through so much. It be both of us. It be both of us. You put me through more. And through all the bullshit we put each other through. I wouldn't want to go through it with no way with you. I've been through so much with her, and I wouldn't put up with no other female with half of the shit I've been with with her. So it was, must be destined because I haven't fell out of love with her yet. Nobody sees the things in you that I see in you. And despite your flaws, I still love you. And some of your flaws to me aren't flaws, they're your strengths. So it's like you help balance me out, make a little bit things seem complete. This is just a part of life. Me and C's are gonna have more problems. I'd be stupid to say we wouldn't, but what I hope is we learn and grow from the things that we've already been through so that we go through this a lot more smarter. I still love your crazy ass.
Like, oh boy, here we go with the bullshit. What the are you doing here? Didn't you just have a fight with Sky? No pillows. No pillows there. I'm not surprised to see Donna here at the shop for the party because Donna is like a, a ass. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't learn her lesson until it's too late. Where's Sky? She's not in here. I'm not happy with how went down the other day with me and Sky, and maybe this isn't the best place to talk, but I definitely want to resolve things. That's what we're trying to figure out. Where's Sky? Today is Sky's butt reveal party, and we're literally waiting on her ass to show up. Are you going to play Sky? Hey, hey. Why are you saying that? Because, girl, yes! I'm going to bring it up when she comes in here. I'm going to be like, oh, you want to fight when you can't fight? Because I don't need to have a show. You are so annoying. Shut up. This whole situation with Sky is a misunderstanding. I do not want to fight. I just want to talk to her and clear this stuff up. got the movie body. Real big titties, nice ass. Not too big. Like, Sky's body's believable. That's what I like about it. Now that Sky's got this body, we need to start making her like more of the face for Black King. To get a tattoo, touch Sky's new ass. Let's do it, Sky! Hey, what's going on here? Sky, you have great New York boobs. Aw, uh, you so romantic. <laughs> No more. I'm not doing any old work. This is a new body. Nothing that touched this before. It is time for loving me some of these rich. <laughs> Thank you, YOLO, new body, thongs all day. You want a drink from the bar? Let's go. Bottles in the club, VIP, we can go. Want to shake your money, make it all on the flow. Yeah, you had loose, but how far will you go? What the? Ah, female, female, damn it, damn it, damn it. Donna ass over there trying to get my attention, and I'm just like, this bitch, let me enjoy my new ass party, damn! Hey, I have to say a word to you. What? I'm so happy that you feel good and that you feel good. And let's I, I need air. Let's talk about All right, come on. I love Sky, and at the end of the day, I feel like she'll reflect on our situation about the money she thinks I owe her from Miami and realize that she was at fault. You know that shit hurt me. I'm sad we had to have anything even touching each other, yeah. especially when you are fragile and beautiful. And you had locked me. Well, you was had the punch ready. Scott came at me. I didn't come at her. I put her in a headlock. I didn't even put my hands on her. And that was for her safety. I love you, bitch. No, I get that, but you hurt me. I really don't want to hear any excuses, Donna. If you don't have my bread, I do not want to talk, bitch. I don't think we're not going to figure out on that situation. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want to get back into it. I just want to tell you, it. you look lovely. Thank and you. it's nice to see you. Let's go yes. shake that ass. Let's go. But after I heal up, I want a fair one. Can do that. Donna owes me a fair fight because she headlocked me like I was her little sister. I'm touching this good ass here, 7A, 6A grade. You, you're gonna know in my eyes when I walk through the door that we're gonna fight. Copy. Make sure I got my tennis shoes on. We just had a heart to heart, and then you wanna threaten me on the walk away? Me and Scar are friends, but this has gotten out of hand. It sucks. I can go take my Miami vibe elsewhere. I was trying to make things right, but this proves that it's time to move on. I'm out this. I got three male deaths, three feminine stations. Nice. And this is what the feminine Ooh, stations look that's like. that's real nice. I'm leaving in a couple of days to open up Pretty and Ink, and I'm turning a new chapter in my life. So everything that has brought bull into my life, it needs to be resolved. That's gonna Yo. be good. That's gonna be good. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? Ooh. Hello. Things with Donna have been one disaster after the other. 
I decided I can take the high road and just give the girl what she really needs. She need help. Maria, Hi. this is Donna. Hi, Donna. I wasn't expecting you, but it's so <laughs> pleasure. So I haven't spoke to Dutch since we got into it at the shop about our Miami trip, and that the last Black Ink party, she totally avoided me. So it was kind of weird that she invited me to this lunch. And it's even weirder that she brought along a friend. Like, who is this bitch? I like your hair. Thank you. Maria Davis is a longtime friend of mine. She's an HIV spokesperson. And I just feel like it's important for Donna to sit down and talk with her because she may be an older woman, but she understands what the f is going on in our generation, too. The reason why I brought you here is because I wanted to talk to you about the situation that happened with us. I'm not into girls sexually. Nobody's saying you're a lesbian. Just say you have fun. The only thing that I'm saying is this. You don't have to do that. Do what? Do what? Go down on me. You didn't have to do that at I all. Did it. I didn't ask like you to I, do it. I didn't invite you to I, do I, it. I didn't beg you. you to do it. You had to You ask. did. I just don't even get what we're doing here. Like, I came to this meeting to have a conversation with Duchess about what the really happened in Miami, and she wants to slut shame me instead of taking the responsibility for what really happened between us. Don't try to say I you. I just don't like taking shots at me. So, baby, look, what I'm telling you is this. There's no more shots being thrown at you, OK? I think Donna's so defensive because she's very stubborn and she's very hard-headed. She listens to what Donna think is right. And we're not going to sit here and let her think that her way through is going to get her anyway. I'm an AIDS survivor. I'm living with AIDS. So I've been where you've been. You don't have to do anything with anybody that is not listening to me. Oh, Maria. I don't slut my butt all across America, but I have had sex with a couple people, and it's, that's, that's it. I did not come here to have a sex ed lesson with a former freak and her best friend. Truly, I think that's just brought me here to distract from the fact that she really enjoyed getting her in Miami. So what was the point of this conversation? Because now we're just dwelling on my sex life. This is turning over a new page with mm -hmm. me. That's what I'm trying to do with you. If anything is ever going to be a friendship with us, then we need to figure it out and move from there. This is so typical of Duchess. Of course, she cannot just apologize to me. She has to try to get on this high horse and teach me a lesson before she can actually do it. I have one condition. I don't want you to listen I to me. I have one condition. One condition. Just ask me what the condition is. What is the condition, Donna? That just needs you to say that I didn't <laughs> you or whatever the <laughs> said. And I also want you to give an apology, too. For what? He owes Oh my God, I'm pretty sure she still slept well. But I'm gonna put my pride aside and apologize just to make things better. Okay, um, so you go first. Why don't y'all apologize together at the same time? <laughs> just right. say one. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna stop two, lying if you don't say yours. Three. I'm sorry I'm I said thing. that. I'm mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think this has been a very productive conversation. I wanna see you do great things. I really do want to see you be an artist, Donna. I want that for you. Oh, you know what? You want a tattoo in um, pretty, pretty right. in it? You would be a big asset to Pretty in Ink. Maria asking Donna if she's going to work in my shop? I don't know what the f is going on in this mother I can see you in Pretty in Ink. Abort mission, abort mission! Oh, I saw myself in there, too. You think that that would be so the bomb? The meeting is not about Pretty and Ink. The meeting is about Donna spreading her vagina all around across like the red mother sea. Trust her, she will be fine. I am grateful that Maria came to talk to her, but no deal. I came down to North Carolina to get some respect. In a job. I've never once been treated seriously as an artist. The only thing people care about is who I've slept with. I'm here with my kick-ass portfolio to shove it in their faces. What the f is Donna doing here? What brings you here? Hello, hello. What the f are you doing in North Carolina, Donna? I thought we left your ass in Harlem. The only thing she brings is drama and STDs. So I'll get straight to it. I built my portfolio and flew down here to show you. <clears throat> I told Donna to work on her portfolio weeks ago. Did she really fly all the way down here to show this ass work? Mm. 
Your shading is not accurate. Your lettering. Does, What's on my lettering? Your still ain't spaced out correctly. Either. Okay, so go Those up to the last page. None of that stuff is even. Just as I expected, Duchess is ripping my portfolio apart. She's just like, let me tear this bitch down just because I can't. And then also, why did y'all throw my stuff away? What stuff are you talking about? My tattoo supplies. Why were your tattoo yeah, supplies be in the shop? Because they were. Bitch, please get a grip on your life. You come down here, you're basically begging for a f job. Now you want to accuse me of throwing away your tattoo equipment? What the f is this girl's problem? I have to go rebuy new things like that. Is that? Are you Man, coming for a like, job uh, interview? Or yo, I just came to show y'all my portfolio. Okay. I'm not coming here asking for a job. Why do I need to see your portfolio? Just because you harass me and my bitch does not mean that you're gonna get hired. You did a terrible job, bitch. It's still trash. Give me my portfolio. At the end of the day, if you want to have a conversation with me. Hold on. How you raising up your voice in somebody else's establishment? Nah, you are tripping now. I'm trying to have a conversation and y'all don't. Donna, get out. You bugging out. I have a tattoo to do. If you want to be, exit my show. I will talk to you about business. You said you wanted to be I'll talk to you about business. If you want to talk about personal, I didn't throw away your stuff. Steve said to clean out the up. Them girls came and asked me, what is this? I said, I don't know who it is. If I don't know who it is, funny throw that away. Wow. But once I heard life, that just told the truth. It's a miracle. But I still want to beat the brakes off that bitch. Don't touch me. 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 I should have fired that a long time ago. She's a waste of a bad weed. Y'all all sad. Y'all all sad. I don't care. But don't throw my don't Let me see your ring. I'm glad you finally found it. I'm blocking. Shut the out. It's okay, Dutchie. She's got to come back to Harlem. Steven ass. I'm worried about somebody throwing away Chinatown tattoo supplies. What? This bitch is so stupid. Get a real friend, you hoe. I don't know who the Donna thinks she is. Trying to be disrespectful, dragging her trashy ass all through here. This bitch is out of control. This bitch is so wack. This is not the day to do that, though. Now I'm on the sidewalk. You knew she wasn't gonna hire you when you came down. I didn't so come here to get hired. Then why would you I bring your to get hired. down here? You're not gonna like disrespect like her like that. I got that. I don't That's what you're not I don't gonna do. She's gonna touch me. Is that my best bitch in the whole wild world? So Sky invited a bunch of people to go snow tubing, not just black ink folks. I don't give a f if that's just gonna be there. That bitch does not rule my life. Sky's my friend anyway. Hi, weirdo, what the f is going on with you? Donna and I have gotten closer over the past few weeks, and now Donna's part of the family. Black Ink does not direct the relationships of Scott. Hey, Donna here. My stalker has yet arrived on the scene. She always just pops her dirty little face every where I am. Don't you work at Puma Shop? Why the are you here? What is she doing? She do why? And then you want to be around us. Why? I don't want to be around you. I'm here because Sky invited me. Like, but we don't need to be around you, yo. We don't make money for you. Start the f up. Get out of here, yo. Caesar's sitting there talking to Donna, and I'm just like, Duchess, why the f is your over here arguing with a lady when your ass is sitting right there watching it? That's not okay. Bring that ass over here and talk. Yo, step up. Say what you got to say. Yo, what's up with you? No, I, I have nothing to say to you. Don't touch me.
bitch. Don't, don't win, bitch. Don't win, bitch. Don't win, bitch. Don't win, bitch. Here we go. Whoa, they dropped the bitch. This bitch, what the f did Donna do but do stupid sh She f all these whack ass in our shop. And she f on your f a little bit. Enjoy this and let this girl live. Damn. Y'all better get her out of here. Get out of here. I got me Get that whack bitch out of here, boss. Y'all always do this to me. Y'all always do this to me. Get the off of me. Donna ain't got no business being nowhere near us on this trip. Get that ball bitch the out of here. If it had not been for the Lord, your ass might have had to get your mama to get that black dress ready, because you might have went down that slope without some skis on your feet. Y'all got me up. Where's my I'm about to murder this bitch. Get the Donna, you know what I mean? She didn't show up here to fight. So what, it's like Donna can't show up to a party anymore? That bitch over there talking as usual because her big ass, whack ass, ass standing next to her. Give me my wig. And then give me back. This is going on the way. My trophy, AKA Donna's wig, AKA bitch leave me alone. Hey, this horse hair. Get off of me. Give that bitch. No? No? Is still on it, guys. $39.99. I don't ever want to see her oh, again. Awesome. Duchess is a whack ass bitch. Like, congratulations, bitch. You got my wig. Who does that? It, like, pulls hair and then you're proud of it. I'm feeling alone and it's like, it. I'm in this city by myself. Y'all. Yeah. I mean, all the way up. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.